Hey, sorry about the job. You weren't the worst teacher we've ever had, if that helps. Think I can put that on my resume? Well, listen. There's an open photo call at the New York Bulletin. I just sent a shot in yesterday. It's not much money, but it's money. That's Robbie Robertson's paper. We used to work together at the Bugle. I think I know just what he'd like. Thanks, Miles. No problem. I might send him a few more shots, too, if I have time. Robbie always said, don't show me the city, show me New York. There. Now to submit and... Peter! How you doing, son? Robbie, hi! I know this is out of the blue, but I wanted to let you know I just sent in a photo for your open call. Wonderful. We can definitely run this. I gotta duck into a meeting, but if you find the beating heart of New York anywhere else, send it my way. It's good to hear from you. You too, Robbie. Thanks. Spider-Man! Wow! I mean, how does it look? Was that good? If it's great, post it. If it's not, let it die. Okay, you can send it to me. And also, am I prominent in the picture? I do represent a larger customer base. Ha <laughs> ha! The Bodega Beef. It was already a rivalry for the ages when it was just David versus Goliath. But when Tails had to deal with the Bodega copying his success by using the exact same mascot, it stepped up to a whole nother level. That's perfect for Robbie. My grandma always talked about going here. She'd walk across the bridge every Sunday to get the freshest vegetables in the city. But one time, she was late and the guy in front of her bought all the tomatoes. And that's how she met my grandpa. That's good. No! <laughs> Is that? <laughs> oh, 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 man, I haven't been there in years. When we were at the Bugle's old office, we'd hide out here whenever Jonah was about to blow. <laughs> I finished a lot of assignments sitting at that bar and a lot of grasshoppers. <laughs> yeah, that'll definitely work. Was that a good photo? Post it online! Yeah, you Ah, here we go. Now, I'll admit, I first walked into his shop because of all the articles about his new flavors. But his traditional ones would have kept me coming back. Sometimes a classic is a classic for a reason. Nice. I mean, if I was rich, I'd take advantage of that backdrop too. I'd also be worried about constantly launching balls off the roof, but I guess they can afford it. That's perfect for Robbie. Sometimes, I worry with all the terrible things that happen in our city. People be afraid to leave their homes, live their lives. But not today. That's good. Reminds me of the people who ride into the Bugle. And a few who work there. Freedom of speech is a beautiful thing. But saying a thing over and over again doesn't make it true. Good, good. NYC, the mecca of basketball. Sure, you can play it anywhere with just a ball in the net. But when you got the people in the apartment buildings watching, the other players trash talking, and the sound of rubber hitting asphalt, there's a reason they call it the city game. Hogan's still going. Dude, you get a lot better shot if you come to the show, Spider Man. New York's always had a thriving underground wrestling scene. Even been to a few shows myself. That combination of theatricality with amazing feats of strength and athleticism, it's electrifying. Not bad. When my son was growing up, I helped coach his youth baseball team here. Every game we played, the parents talked more trash than the kids. Myself included. <clears throat> that should work for Robbie. Well, well, well! Spider Man's a shutterbug! Click, click. Whip, whip. 
Yeah. Some things in New York you just can't explain. And that's what's great about it. Good, good. Honestly, we need a whole other photo series just on New York's music. Its impact, the communities it built, its outright brilliance. It's hard to encapsulate in one photo, but this isn't bad. That's perfect. Protesting isn't just the constitutional right in New York. It's your civic duty. Especially when a multinational corporation is behind a bioweapon unintentionally getting released into the city. Not bad. Oh, do you do headshots, Spider-Man? I could actually use a new one. Whether it's on the stage or in the open air, where else can you see legends and soon-to-be legends performing every day? London? That's really far away. That's good. My best friend's kid painted this. I remember her showing me a sketch of it the day before it went up. New York is nothing without its people. Yeah, that'll definitely work. Is that a good photo, Spider-Man? They sent it to the student newspaper. The Spider-Man aren't the only superheroes in New York. Getting students to class on time? One of the greatest powers I've ever seen. Nice. You know, I saw an old grandmaster playing there last week. Anyone could walk up and challenge him. And he lost to a kid who lives down the street from me. Damn. Never seen anything like it. That's perfect for Robbie. You know, for a place where everyone's comfortable calling out when something's wrong, people here sure hate admitting when they're wrong. The writer in me does love the irony, though. That's good. Say what you will about social media, and I can say a lot. It's helped so many businesses stay afloat here when they would have gone under a long time ago. Good, good. Ah, the Manhattan Bridge. Can you believe they started building it in 1901? Finished in 1909. I thought it was old when I was a kid, but now? It's just amazing the history that's in this city. That's perfect. You gotta hand it to New Yorkers. I wasn't even trying to be funny there. If there's a good time to be had, they'll find it. The shrimp cocktail competition is going to be biblical. Hey, you pay for that photo, Spider-Man? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're cool. Oh, no. You're radical. I heard this guy dips his hot dog buns in tomato juice before eating them. Now, I get that it makes it easy for them to go down, but... Tomato juice? Brother, that ain't right. Hey, Robbie, you got the photo? I think it's a good one to close my submissions with. Yeah, it's fantastic. But I'm a bit surprised you're stopping now since you left out two of the biggest parts of New York. The Spider-Man. I mean, I don't know if they're that big. And they are kind of controversial. Everything I see in these photos. All the stories and history and life. None of it would still be here if it wasn't for the Spider-Man. I hope they know that. I bet they have some idea. Well, thanks for the photos, Peter. You've always been better at this than you give yourself credit for. I don't think that... Thanks, Robbie.